Since uh, the last conference in Washington, there have been extraordinary progress. We estimate that uh, by July, 14 million uh, people uh, had access to treatment. More has been done, and that is very important. More has been done in the last three years than in the last 25 years. I repeat, we quicken the pace. We changed completely the trajectory of implementation. During the last three years, we have been able to put 5.6 million more people on treatment. Who could have imagined that one? But we are seeing also uh, new challenges, and uh, that is very important, new generation of uh, challenges. Half of the people living with, uh, even more, living with HIV, don't know their uh, status. And that is very important. For the first time, we have a proper data, 19 million people out of uh, 35 million people don't know their uh, status, HIV status. Half, because of stigma, discrimination, because of exclusion, because of criminal laws, because of people are hiding themselves and people are scared to use services. Sex workers, for example, are 13 times more likely to be living with HIV. <coughs> and many fear carrying even uh, condoms because they could be arrested. We know, for example, in uh, Africa, young women account for one in four new HIV infection, 25 percent. Prisoners can be up to 50 times more likely to become infected with HIV. If the people living with HIV don't find out their status, they will die. And that's why we are uh, pushing to make sure that we'll uh, put resources where new infection occur and where people are dying. And we know today that uh, 15, in 15 countries, we have a 75 percent of a new inf infection occurring, 75 percent of death is happening in only 15 countries. So the objective for us is to make sure that we have a return on investment for using our resources where epidemic is happening. And to do that one, we will call, of course, uh, the world for new target, a bold, ambitious target to make sure that we can have 90% of the people tested by 2020, 90% of those people on treatment, and 90% with uh, undetectable uh, viral load. And we believe by doing that and achieving that by 2020, we can be able to really control the epidemic by 2030. And we think when we talk about controlling the epidemic, ending AIDS, it means that it will not be anymore a public health uh, threat for uh, any of us, any countries, or uh, individual, or village. And thank you very much.